Hey guys, so today I am trying out a bunch of new products. Um, I'm pretty sure the only thing that I have that I have tried already is my eyeliner, my eyelash glue, and my setting powder. I don't have a new setting powder right now, but everything else it's pretty new. I'm not really using any new brushes. It's just new products today. If you want to know what products I'm using, you can check the bottom bar below. Um, I'll also link my social media. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And let's get some makeup on and try out some new products together. So I did already moisturize with the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. So I'm gonna spray a little Smashbox primer water on my face. I have actually used this, but just once. People rave about this. I'm interested to see the different scents because this kind of smells, hmm, almost like a lilac-y type of smell. It smells good, kind of weird. Kind of good. So I am going to prime my face. I've never tried this before with the Milani Prime Shield Face Primer. It says mattifying and oil free. A little bit of that. And I'm going to put that in my T-zone. It has a weird smell. It has a weird smell. I don't really know what it smells like. It has a weird smell. And that was not very modifying at all. It was a little greasy. Not really sure how I feel about that. I just feel like really greasy. Holy crap. Okay. I gotta get this on my hands, you guys. Just really greasy. That's fine. That's fine. So the next product that I really want to try is the NIAD Photography Fluid Opacity 12%. So I just want to show you what the bottle looks like. It looks like this. I saw Jamie Genevieve using this and it looked so pretty. So I just wanted to try a little... I'm not gonna put it on my chin though. I have so many pores on my chin. And I'll get a little there. So I'm gonna... Wow. Can you see the glow? Rub some excess on my decatage. See how pretty that is? Up next is foundation. I'm trying out the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation in classic ivory. So it's really nice uh, glass bottle and it comes with a pump. So that's really cool. Pretty sure this shade's gonna be way too dark for me, but we'll make it work. So it's kind of a thicker consistency. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe sponge and I'm gonna put some on my sponge and I am just going to pounce that all over. I actually like to use a sponge more than a brush. I think the brushes because I do have larger pores, especially on my cheeks. I do feel like a brush kind of accentuates my pores. This is a little dark. I'm just gonna drag it down. Make sure to get your ears if it doesn't match. And with a beauty blender, I feel like it kind of like gets in there, it soaks up the extra product. Okay, so that's one layer. So I don't think it looks too bad actually. Sinking a little bit into my pores, but that could be that primer. I'm just gonna put another pump on the back of my hand and I'm just going to get the areas where I feel I need a little bit more coverage. So that actually looks pretty good. 
I'm a little dark, it's fine. So the next thing I'm trying is the Kylie Cosmetics Skin Concealer in Bone. I have not tried this yet. I've had it for a while and I wanted to try it on camera. I literally have seen Shayla use nothing else. So I've been dying to try it, but I don't want to use it until it was on camera. Like that. And we're gonna blend it. This beauty sponge. Ooh, look at that coverage on the eye. That's nice. Blends out really easily. Now I'm going to bake with the Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder. I've always liked this Morphe sponge for baking. I think it kind of like picks up the product, but the product doesn't get in the sponge. Sometimes with the beauty blenders, they kind of absorb a lot of product, but this one is so fine as far as like the pores go. It doesn't really absorb much product. There, that lightened up the foundation a little bit. Okay, so I am going to put a little bit of color back into my face with the Max. Studio Fix Powder in NW25. I also kind of bring that down the neck to set that. And I feel like when I bake, it kind of makes my under eyes a little white. But when I use this powder, it helps give me some color. All right, so I'm going to contour now. To do that, I am going to use the Cheek Parade palette by Benefit. It has a uh, hula, hula light, and some blushes. We have Rockateur, California, and Dandelion. And then we have hula and hula light. Um, to contour, I am going to use the hula. And I'm just gonna use the little brush it comes with. I would normally use the Eda brush, but it's pretty similar. I'm getting a lot of fallout with this brush though. I'm going to contour my nose now with this little fluffy brush. It's the M506 with the same hula powder. I'm going to contour my nose. Now I'm going to bronze up my face with the Milani Baked Bronzer in Dulce. That's really pretty, I like that. Like that, like that. Now I'm gonna move on to eyes. I have the new Dominique Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. So the outside looks like this. It's very pretty like rose gold. Dominique on the front, latte palette. It has a nice mirror. They're super pretty. I think the iridescent ones are like really, really pretty. There's some good matte colors in there too. This palette's right up my alley. So the first color in the Dominique Cosmetics palette that I'm going to take is Caramel, or Caramel. And I'm gonna take that on a Morphe M532. And I'm gonna run that in my crease. I am getting a little bit of fallout. I mean, I would expect there to be some fallout. These are pretty soft shadows. So I am just building that up in the crease. Very pretty. Next, I am going to take Pumpkin Spice, which is this orangey kind of color right here. And I'm not doing anything too crazy. I am just trying out this palette. We are not using the purple or the blue today, but we will use that in another video. Comment below if you'd like to see that. So that's really pretty. Now I'm going to take the Morphe M518 and Hazelnut. I'm going to run that also in my crease.
And I'm just gonna dunk in a caramel with my M532. Blend those all together. If anyone's wondering what's going on with this eye roll, my cat scratched me in the middle of the night. Pretty sure that I rolled over on him and he got scared and then he ran and he hit my face. So now I am going to take my Sigma E25 and Mocha, which is this guy right here. Going to take that dark shade right in the socket. Just like that. We're doing a little bit of a halo eye today. I am getting quite a bit of fallout. So if that bothers you, you may not like this palette to be honest. The shadows are pretty soft. If you want like a nice soft shadow, they will have fallout, so. Now I am going to take my Morphe M432. It's just a flat shader brush and I'm gonna go in with that dark color mocha and I am going to put that on my bottom lash line. And I did not take that all the way in. And I am going to take my Morphe E18. It's a small pencil brush. I am going to go in with pumpkin spice. And I am going to blend that out. You can make this as smoky as you want it to be. And then on my Morphe M17, which is just a little bit fluffier of a pencil brush, I'm gonna go in with caramel, caramel, and I'm gonna buff that out again, just like we did on the top. Now I'm going in with my Sigma Concealer F70, and I'm going to be using Creme Brulee, which is this beautiful color right here. I am going to put that on my brush, and then I'm going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus. I'm just gonna kinda keep it in the center of my lid. Bring it up a little bit. I'm gonna use my finger to kind of add that down. I'm going to grab my E25 that I used with that mocha color on my lid, and I am going to just blend that out. That's pretty. That is pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna do eyebrows now. I'm gonna try out a new product. This is the LA Girl Shady Slim. Like some slim shady. Okay. I'm gonna brush through my brows first. And then I'm gonna draw a line underneath. And then on the top. Super bad scar there that this product, you see that? Not covering it up. Mm -mm. I am going to try this It Brow Power in Universal Taupe. It's a little bit more of like a flat. Can you see that? How it's like flat here and pointy here. See that? See if it'll fill in my gap a little bit better. That's also the reason why I like the Benefit Goof Proof is I feel like it really fills in my eyebrow. It's a little bit better and the color is better too. Nope, I'm not a fan of that LA girl. I got this in my boxy charm. I'm pretty sure. February? Then I'm gonna use a little bit. This is not a first impression. I have used this. I've repurchased this a few times. I love this. Is the Benefit Gimme Brow in number three. And then actually what I like to do after I use that is I'll just kind of pull through just so it's not chunky. I am using this Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. Whoa. Can you guys see how much came off on my brush right now? Look at that. Do you see it? Ooh. Yes. Very pretty. Blend that in a little bit. Now the highlight! I'm super excited for the highlight. I am using the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Gold. And I am taking this highlighter on my Morphe M510. Ooh. I think it's a little dark for me at the moment. So I'm gonna take my fave, oh, my favorite, the 
the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amorese highlighter. I also dug my freaking thumb into that too, so that was fun. I am going to take a little bit of that on my Sigma E32. I'm gonna pop that on the inner corner and on the brow bone. Ooh, but that's pretty together, hey? Woo! Now I'm gonna spray my face with some Fix Plus. And I'm gonna blot it all out with my Beauty Blender. So, I am gonna do some eyeliner now. Wish me luck. Oh, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. Alright y'all. Okay. I am going to try for the first time I have a sample little size of the Lancome Drama Liquid Pencil. So I'm going to put that in my bottom waterline. And then I'm going to take the smaller pencil brush, the E18, and I'm going to buff that out. And I'm going to take the Pat McGrath Perma Gel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil. And I'm going to put that in my upper waterline. Alright, now I am going to try the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I have tried the waterproof version, but I have not tried this regular version. Oh, that's not bad. Now I'm going to try out the Lily Lashes in Style Makeup by Samuel. They look like this. I'm using the Tarte Lash Applicator and the Duo Brush On Lash, Ad Lash Adhesive with Vitamin. Okay, so those are on. Right, those are pretty. Gotta go over your eyeliner a little bit. Wish me luck. That's not a great start. Alright, just tidying up. I'm gonna leave that little spot for a second. I'm gonna do a little bottom mascara to do that. I'm going to use the bad gal bang. Super watery. I think it's not good for the bottom lashes. I'm just gonna wait, but I don't want this clumpy stuff to happen, so. Alright! So, our hair is done. And our makeup's pretty much done. I think it turned out pretty good. So I am going to move on to lips. I am not using a new lip liner. I'm using MAC Whirl. I am trying out a new lipstick. It is the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte in 90210. All right guys, so this is the finished look. So I really do like the foundation. I don't think it looks too bad. Um, it, it's probably not the right color, but it ended up working out. I wasn't a fan of this primer from Milani, the Prime Shield. Kind of greasy for me. I am a little bit oily, so I do have to be careful with that. Um, otherwise, I think I liked most of the products that I tried. Oh yeah, I did not really care for the LA Girl Sh Shady Slim eyebrow pencil. Uh, I just didn't feel like it filled in my scar. That was really the only problem with it. I didn't feel like the product kind of stayed when I brushed it with the spoolie. I love this Milani blush. Luminoso, very pretty. The Master Chrome was nice, but I don't think it was the right... It was just a little bit dark for my skin tone, so I did have to use some of the Anastasia 
Emery's the highlighter. The Kylie concealer, I think it's fine. The Gerard Cosmetics, not sticky. No transfer. What else did I use? Oh, oh the Christian Dominique palette. So pretty. Like that eye is so pretty. Let me zoom you in. So pretty, right? And see the skin doesn't look too bad. I don't think anything's sinking into my pores. I don't have tons of wrinkles under my eyes. My laugh lines are fine. So overall, I think it went pretty well. I enjoyed most of the products that I used. If you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you in my next video. Toddy buys. Like a lilac y type of smell. Ooh, there's a lot of powder flying around. Now, what? Now, what? What are we going to do now? What are we going to do next? What should we do? What should we do? I say caramel, okay? I say caramel. I say it for people say it both ways. I say caramel. I'm going to go in with caramel. I'm going to do highlight and everything because I hate it when I do my highlight and I get it in my eyelashes. I hate that. I don't know how people put their eyelashes on and then do powder and stuff. It gets in my eyelashes. I am using the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Gold. And... Just, ah, shut up! I just jammed my thumb into the highlighter. Look at that.